Hello everyone, welcome to another English edition of Papa News. I'm Bula Batiola and you're watching the Papa News TV on this week's latest news. Six pastors were sanctified and the Pro Panonomia Reformata awards were given during the festive meeting held by the Transdanubian Calvinists on Saturday in Papa. Office holders of the Dioce are elected six years and at the end of this six year period was celebrated among deserving circumstances. The sanctification of the pastors took place in the Calvinist Church, and there were six pastors swore an oath. Petr Gabor, one of the pastors, celebrated in Papa, and now serves in a nearby village as well. Pro Panononia Reformata Prize, which is the greatest honor, was given out at the service as well. And finally, Joseph Steinbach closed the festive service, and with it, ended the six-year period. Plenty of students were at the opening day at Petrofi Shandor, a grammar school in Papo. Children from the 8th grade and their parents took part in many programs, especially at lessons they learned more about on education at the Petrofi Shandor. There were at least 20 lessons offered during this time for them. André Hushar, a director of Petrofi, said that there has never been so many children at the Petrofi Shandor during an opening day. He also noted that it was a pleasure for them that so many students are interested in learning at the Petrofi Grammar School. More than 200 parents and children were here. Petrofi is going to start three new classes next September. The first class is a regular class. The second is specialized in the English language, a bilingual class, and the third will be divided into two parts of which half of the classes will be specialized in science and the other half will be in the German language. Hushar said that their teachers and their education are evolving from year to year and are becoming more popular. The most popular classes in the school are the bilingual and the scientific courses. Jofia Naj, a student from St. Stephen Roman Catholic Primary School, stated that her interest lies in biology and chemistry but would like to attend some bilingual lessons as well. Reka Pozgai, a student of Petofi, stated that she liked the school because she thinks her teachers are very open-minded and can trust them with everything. She said that the school atmosphere is very friendly and direct. She also stated that she enjoys being one of the students in Petofi and always smiles whenever she's there and noted that the school is well equipped. Reka recommended the school to everybody because it is very good. Another student said software and hardware are both good in the school. The school building, which is only 20 years old, is excellent equipment and is well situated. Teachers want to teach children and we can see the outcomes of the Petifi. Students take part in a lot of competitions with good outcomes. The next open day of Petifi Shandor in Papa will be the 9th of December. Petofi will have another open day in January as well. On Wednesday, the 19th of November, the Reformed Theology Academy of Papa had its open day. Here, the students can stay to become a teacher of religion or they can take part of a Reformed clergyman, master training. Those who intend to become a clergyman must study five years and then use their knowledge one additional year. So in sum, after six years, they will graduate. The Teacher of Religion course is six semesters long. Currently, there are 75 students learning in the Reformed Theology Academy, 50 clergymen and 25 teachers. During the meeting of the German National Self-Government, Papa, they discussed the budget plan modifications and the program of this year's Advent concert. The representatives also decided about the admissions to the Munkachi Mihai Elementary School's National German class. The administrative area of Papa is divided into educational districts. However, students can apply from all over the town to the special national German class of the school. The members of the self-government arrange the program of the Advent concert as well. The program includes performances by children from kindergartens as well as from the Munkachi Elementary School. Furthermore, the ladies' choir of Ganna and other chorus from Papa will be invited to the event. The concert will take place on the 12th of December in the St. Joseph Chapel. A news conference was held by Jobbik about the garage tax. Schule Zolt thinks that the decision should be fair and sensible so that everybody can comply it. 
A lot of people from Papa have asked so many questions about the text as they are interested in the details as well. Expected of further inspections are to follow. NATO stands by its long-standing partnership with Ukraine. General Bartles, chairman of NATO Military Committee, said during his visit to Kyiv on the 20th to 21st of November, and I quote, we will continue to support the reform of your security sector and the moderni modernization of your armed forces to defend a sovereign, united dem and democrat Ukraine. During his visit, the chairman met with Colonel General Muzinko, the chief of general staff of the Ukraine Armed Forces, who has been invited to discuss further cooperation at the next NATO military committee with Allied Chiefs Defense to be held in January 2015. General Bartels expressed his appreciation to Ukraine for its enduring contribution to all major NATO-led operations, exercises, and the NATO Response Force. He also welcomed Ukraine's membership to the Partnership Interoperability Platform, which will further facilitate the development of Ukraine's armed forces and their ability to operate with NATO forces. General Bartels also met with Minister of Defense Colonel General Poltruk and the National Security Defense Council as well as other high-ranking military officials. Discussions focused on the Wales summit decisions regarding NATO's continued support for Ukraine, including the establishments of NATO's trust funds on cyber defense, command, control and communications, logistics and military retraining, and NATO's assistance with the rehabilitation of Ukraine injured military personnel. The chairman also took opportunity while in Kyiv to lay a wreath at the tomb of an unknown soldier. General Barrow said, and I quote, every death is a tragedy and I offer my sincere condolences to the armed services of Ukraine and for their suffering and losses. Last Sunday, the Norwegian spouses got together and held their annual Christmas market. There were many participants, colorful decorations, delicious foods of all kinds, and of course, Christmas music. Matilda Utenberg and I took a few pictures and did a couple interviews of ladies to share with you a little of what this festive event is all about. Here is a look at the slideshow interview. Hi, my name is Heidi and I'm from Finland. Christy and I'm from Estonia. We are selling pancakes, cupcakes, pizza, uh, almonds and soaps. Uh, my name is Hanneke Stolmeyer and I'm from Holland. Pamela Gilbertson and I'm from the States. Uh, Eva Haugan, I'm from Norway. Horvatni, Nagyjörgy Andrea. I came from Hungary, Papa. I'm Cecilia Lundberg and I'm from Sweden. Uh, my name is Berit and I'm from Norway. The Christmas market started. 2010 with the Norwegian spouses who wanted to contribute to Papa and wanted to find some way to collect money and give charity. So it's an annual thing and we all the Norwegian spouses get together and make stuff and sell it and give away the money. And we also invite all the other nations to contribute. You can see it on the table, it's Bulgaria, the States and everybody is contributing. So they sell their stuff and they are nice enough to donate the money to us and we give it to a church. We have different uh, places every year. We get some help from the mayor's office, to different kinds of uh, project that needs money, and then we select and then take the final call. This year it's going to elderly home downtown. It is an elderly home that is placed in a very, very old building. It's 300 years old. And it has actually been an elderly home there for 200 years and it desperately needs renovation. So we will use the money to renovate the room for the elderly people living there. So that's the concrete plan. I think the most important thing is to contribute to the place that we actually are a part of, to the city of Papa, because we, uh, as a part of the international community, has uh, the opportunity, um, economically-wise, to do this, because we are here and we have the salaries that we have from our own countries. And what we see here is there's a lot of poor people. So it's very important to show that we actually care and we would like to contribute to the environment and the city. But I think also it's important that we meet, we do something together, we have the same goal for this and everyone contributes. 
So that's also a very, very nice thing, all the nations together. I mean, when we had the Christmas market, we know that it, Christmas is definitely getting closer. It's great to be here with you again this week. Have a wonderful day and hope to see you next week. I'm Bila Batiola and you're watching the English edition of Papa News TV on this week's latest news.